post Vlad Dracula. Welcome back to good old Age of Empires 2. We will continue on the great adventure of a true hero of Mother Europe. So we're gonna get straight into it in episode 2, Return of the Dragon. Boom. Dracula knew that he needed to enlist the aid of the Hungarians against Vladislav II, whose policies favored the Ottomans. He also remembered his education under the crusading order of the dragon and wanted to honor his vows. The order was a powerful ally and their crusader knights would serve Dracula well against his enemies. As he paced the streets of the Moldavian capital, Dracula mused over his plan to reclaim his kingdom. As the mysterious old man paused, I rose up to take another slab of venison. The old man stared into the fire, watching the flames dance as if they were soldiers involved in a raging battle. His eyes flashed again as a thought entered his mind, and he grasped the majestic old soul. Meanwhile, Sultan Mehmet II had ascended to the Ottoman throne. Dracula loathed Mehmet from that time in Ederne, and he knew that the Turks would be a thorn in his side for years to come. In 1453, they had conquered Constantinople, but they were presently occupied with campaigns in Greece and Serbia. Bogdan II, Dracula's cousin and the new voivode of Moldavia, had heard of his kinsman's plight and offered his help. If Dracula could cross the Carpathian Mountains into Transylvania and ally with Hungary, then they could launch a three-pronged assault on Vladislav II and the Turks. Alright, so another epic introduction. And uh, when I say Order of the Dragon, that is exactly the sort of mythic mindset we need to have going forward. It makes everything so much more epic. So anyway, we have Vlad Dracula must survive, makes sense, and then we have hints, I'll just read through this. Okay, so his new technology tree is now Magyar. See, you can have a friendship between Hungarians and Romanians, it's the only way forward. Bran Castle, legendary. And again, Hungary will offer an alliance if you can show your strength by reaching the Imperial Age. Alright, so I utilized a little edit there, and just look at the graphics here. Absolutely <laughs> Welcome, Vlad. wonderful. What do you desire from humble Moldavia? What do I desire? Uh, <laughs> this I is a... advice on how to reclaim Valachia, my birthright. This is a bulk, bro. He's bloat maxing now, Bogdan. All right, let's... Um... To the northwest, in the Transylvania forest, lies the Bran Castle, a stronghold of the Order of the Dragon. You will find supporters there. The Order of the Dragon, that has to be a title for a, cro for a coming training video or Even a right Vital there, Hunt challenge hits. or uh, something like that. A too cool of a name to not use for anything productive. Uh, okay. Let us out Go, then. But beware of the nasty troops on the road. Now, let me tell you about my glorious weekend in the service of, of the nation. So first, to Uppsala. Met some good lads. Had a uh, great training session. Shout out to all who were there. It was absolutely joyous. Then, the next day, I went to the opposite side of Sweden, to Göteborg, Gothenburg. Met some good men, some good men from America and Switzerland as well. Shout out to you, it was a joyous session and day. Then, after... Oh, damn, that's a... Uh, 
<laughs> that is a brutal watchtower. Um, anyway, then I went to Elgaros, it's called. A uh, small little place in between Göteborg and Stockholm. And I held a self-defense seminar. It was uh, quite fun because it was uh, not my usual um, demographics. It was um, more females and it was more um, older uh, individuals. So uh, yeah, that was um, a new teaching experience. And when you teach, you learn yourself as well. Uh, okay, let's try to... Let's try to um, box with these Vladislavians. See what I'm doing now? I'm micromanaging so that they're chasing Vlad and my knights can hit the spearmen. So anyway, that was my weekend. It Oh. I'm getting mugged by these archers, but uh, cavalry strong against archers. So yes, that was my weekend in short uh, terms. I did film some of the training, which will be up for a Physik Manufactorum. May prove useful later. Um, the training video log. So yeah, links in the description for that. Some, uh, well mainly Thai boxing uh, videos. Some bag work and some pad work. Good times. Then of course I posted a short version on my Instagram as well, if you haven't already seen that now also on a Hot friends a large dynasty force blocks the mountain pass hmm all right if you were to slay the dynasty general in command of the forward camp it may draw the attention of the army and lure them away right let's do it um I think I have mismanaged this start a little bit, but, um, oh, the Nesti General. Okay, I will try to manage this anyway. Go on, die. Die, scum. And now. To the pass. Ah, <laughs> no. No, I am. Um... Ah, come on then. Vlad, no. It was one misclick. One misclick. I am. Um... If I die now, I will have to restart everything and um, restart the. Uh... Brothers of the dragon, let us send the usurper to his grave. Okay, a bit of chaos there. Uh, where did Vlad go, even? Um, I hope he. Did he die? Maybe. That would have been extremely silly if this episode was off to such a bad start. Yes, I do think Vlad has died, but we can just pretend that he is wounded or something like that, and we'll continue on. So yes, I was playing the historic battles, and I played the Conquest of Cyprus by Richard Lionheart, and uh, this was one of the... Um, well, when you win the uh, scenario, this came up. And uh, I was very happy to see that you had some um, uncocked view of him. Usually you would have something of the sort like, oh, he's, he was such a brutal... So I was pleasantly surprised by the way they described it, described him as a, a legend instead of having the need to portray him as some brutal king who only cared about glory who only cared about glory uh, so that was refreshing to see 
I tip my pickle hub again to H um, vampires. So I suppose I will utilize a few edits in this video because it looks like it might be a a long campaign, but I will check in in a little bit. Okay, so Bran Castle recruits paladins for us. Highly epic. And uh, again, it looks so great. And it captures the feel of mountainous region here. Now I suppose I will have to mine. And then we'll have to hit the Imperial Age, so the Hungarians will admire our strength, so they can be our allies. So basically what I have now, since I have so much cavalry, I have to look out for their spearmen, of course. And being more mobile than the enemy, makes it easier to uh, avoid the spearmen. So that is... Uh, that's good. Now I found a mining camp nearer to the town center. So we can chop some... not chop, uh, mine, I mean, of course. So anyway, what did I train today, you ask? I trained after a hectic weekend as I said of a lot a lot of driving I was quite wrecked uh, from just driving so much um, I uh, trained some push press and some light bench press so that was my training session and I have seen this Moldavians a little nice uh, outpost there uh, unfortunately they're being attacked Maybe I can aid them with my knight here, if I can sink the ship. Okay, I will probably die there, so... Um, I sacrificed him for a good cause. So, what we can do now, also... Is actually, first and foremost, we need some... We need some wood. Otherwise, our farms will expire. So, just continuing to gather resources, I'm gonna create some more knights. We had three more paladins incoming, and then I will just gather enough stone so we can build a castle here, so that we are safe, and then we can upgrade to the Imperial Age. And again, if I wasn't clear with what I meant with the Richard the Lionheart thing, is um, I found it so refreshing that they could just state this man was a legend and point to the positive things without having to uh, talk about uh, the fact that oh this guy didn't spend so much time in England so he was a bad king uh, it's nice when people can just be positive point out the good things instead of having to nuance it all too much now, of course nuance is good sometimes but um, sometimes it can also be nice to give it a rest Right, so I just noticed that we can't actually build a castle, but we need to build something fun at least to upgrade. So uh, I suppose we'll have to build a monastery and we can use these mining camps to help clear away the rubble from that bridge. Aha, right. Um, yeah, so um, a university, I suppose we can build too. The order of the dragon is definitely at that fever. <laughs> Decadent and feeble. Well, we will see about that, dear Vladislav. I challenge you to come to uh, to box with these high thumos lads. We can build a monk as well to heal our gallant soldiers. Just gonna wait for this to we built, then we can upgrade and initiate an alliance with Hungary. Boom. There we are. Dracula, I see no point in us fighting when we share a common enemy in the Turks. 
If you would supply our army, we would gladly aid your cause. Alright. That uh, sounds good. Dear old Hungary. Let's do it. It's the only reasonable course of action. And as you can see, we couldn't build a castle, but I have built a lot of watchtowers instead. And now, I will also upgrade our cavalry to cavalier. So we have paladins and cavaliers. And we need to pay Hungary a thousand in food. Then we can upgrade this, which reduces the fee for tributes to 20%. Boom, let's do it. Alright, we have gathered enough food, so we will pay it to Hungary. Boom. There we go, confirm. Don't. Excellent! We fight with you! Very good indeed. They didn't have all too much of an army, though. But um, I suppose it is. Um, it's all good anyway. Now we can't build trebuchets anywhere, which is of course blasphemous. But it is what it is. I will ride out with the order of the dragon and see if we can kill some um, enemies. You may have the support of the Hungarians, but I have the Ottomans behind me. You will make a fine target for our gunners. Vladislav, you are a traitor. I will hunt you down. Can uh, perhaps raid this little village. It looks quite cozy though, so I'm not all too comfortable with actually destroying it. But uh, there is a relic. Maybe we can take it with one of our monks. Aha, you can actually fight for this village. That's nice. Cool stuff. Now, let's see. Down here, I suppose, is where Vladislav is, um, is holed up. We can't create a castle, build a castle, but perhaps we can build some sort of other fun thing, such as a siege workshop or um, something similar. There comes a trebuchet, speaking of which I will um, see if I can hunt it down. Stumble upon a uh, little fleet there. Need to to run away. We can uh, capture this little place, I suppose. Aha! We can't build any military buildings at all. That's problematic. I suppose. Perhaps we can build some sort of town center here somewhere. No, can't really do that. We can build a watchtower. Now, where were we here? Hello, battering rams. Elite boyar, they're quite cool. Cool aesthetics on those. Have to defeat this tower. Right, we have raised this little base to the ground. Had to do it to them was the only reasonable course of action. And there was little bug, I suppose. Uh, it came up onto land. Aha, they're sieging our Moldovan friends here. Let's see if we can figure out some way to deal with that. Like your father and brother before you. He, um, he likes to trash talk this guy, uh, which I kind of like. It um, adds a bit of spice to the story, I suppose. Aha, uh -huh. 
they ran out of gold, so I need to build a new mine there. So if we could just get some more villagers down here. There we go. So I can build these towers, so we can deal with this um, this fleet. Aha! We have finally finally found a castle. Noise. Recurve bow. Cavalry archers have one plus in range and one plus in damage. But uh, I want to build some trebuchet. All right, I have assembled mighty force that I will lay siege to the castle here. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, this uh, little sea battle goes um, well, somewhat according to plan at least. Hello, lads. Now we just have to defend this trebuchet at all costs. Right, here we are. So, as you might have noticed, I've utilized uh, a few edits in this episode, but now, since we're nearing the end of the episode, I suppose I will... I will um, be talkative. Now we just have to make sure that our trebuchets do not get um, wrecked here as we um, lay siege to Vladislav, the trash talkers. Um, stronghold. So anyway, on another note, on a note of making videos, I do have quite a few interesting, well I hope at least, uh, videos incoming. I'm going to talk about game changers. It's a vegan, well you could perhaps say propaganda piece. Uh, they're talking about vegan athletes. But anyway, I will talk more about that. Then I will talk about mewing and mouth breeding. Because they are interlinked. And then some more training videos. So yeah, I have um, a good few videos incoming. Now, Vladislav, you will regret your foul words. Let's see if he's in here. No. Hmm. Strange. Maybe he has fled into the town center. Or perhaps even to this little outpost. Hmm, who knows. So I was about to utilize an edit, then get back to it, but he died in the midst of the chaos. But let's leave the map and look at the scene. The elderly man gave a thin smile. Tenacity of mind can compensate for other disadvantages. As Dracula slaughtered untold numbers of enemy troops, the large circle of impaled men outside Dargavista grew to awe and disgust travelers for weeks to come. Dracula owned Valechia once more, but it was not the land his forebears ruled. Barren from endless wars, it was rife with corruption, crime, and poverty. Aghast, I asked my host how Dracula managed to reform a ruined shell of a country so quickly. Praying, the light flashed across the old man's eye again. Dracula despised dishonesty and crime and sought to eliminate it. He knew that Valeria had to become strong enough to face its enemies and soon. And so, his reforms began. A heroic man, no doubt. So, uh, yes, that will have to be the episode. And in next, we'll go to the breath of the dragon. And, uh, yeah, I utilized quite a few edits, but I hope the episode was good enough anyway. So, thank you for watching and stay tuned for 
upcoming videos. XXO, boom.